What's up, everybody? I tell you, damn General Hospital, this stuff is getting good, I'm telling you. I'm changing, this is making me change my whole outlook on this vampire stuff. And Caleb Morley has done that. Um, let's talk about today's episode. I got some news. Some, some I don't know why. You can take this news, but I'm going to tell you at the, with a grain of salt, but I'll tell you at the end of the, end of the video. Um, when I tell you, that damn Caleb Morley, and I'm going to tell you something, that cop has to be the dumbest cop in the history of the police department, you know, the American police department. That cop has to be the dumbest. I know, when I asked the Reddit spoiler, said something like, Caleb uses his likeness to McBain to, because meanwhile, they all think this is McBain. Rafe and whoever that cop was, that's no longer with us, they they thought that was McBain. So I, I think I should just start from the beginning of this, of that storyline. Um, so apparently, um, Caleb, at the end of yesterday's episode, Caleb snuck into the, um, got into the PCPD. He's having a conversation with Rafe. He tells Rafe he's going to take him on a little trip. And this is going to also make it look like Rafe escaped. This is going to make it look like he's escaped prison, which it kind of, he, I, you can understand he was, um, manipulated, but Anna's going to think he's escaped. Because, but, but, well, Anna was looking at the, um, looking at some surveillance or something today, um, and she, she saw Caleb and whatever, whoever that cop was, taking Rafe out of the, um, basically helping him escape. Anyway, um, but yeah, Caleb was sitting there talking to Rafe and was telling him that he's going to take him on a little visit and him and this cop help Rafe escape. And somehow Rafe, while they wind up on the, on the on Port Charles on the pier, and, um, Rafe wants them, uh, he Caleb Caleb wants Rafe to um reenact everything that went down with Allison's murder and whatnot, and and somehow he he all of a sudden stabs a cop, and I'm gonna tell you something. Rafe is going to going to need lifelong lifelong therapy. He's done seen his mom get stabbed, and he's also seen this cop get stabbed by the same person. And when Caleb was sitting there ranting and telling, "I'm your father, I'm your father." So I said, "You're my son," and I'm telling you, see, and telling you, see that boat right there? It's gonna take us. It's gonna take us away from this guy for a second place. And I think it's probably gonna take him to um, um. I didn't watch much Port Charles, but um, somebody said something about some place called Storybrook or something. I don't know. I don't know much about Port Charles, but anyway, um, I will find say this. I want Michael Easton to stay on this show as John McMahon, not John McMahon, as um Caleb Morley. He needs to stay on this show as Caleb Morley. And according to Daytime Confidential, um, that whole stuff about Prospect Park wanting to share those characters of John McBain, Todd, and Star, that's a big old lie, according to Daytime Confidential. And also today, Laura Wright actually tweeted that those actors will be back in in a few weeks. We don't know if they're going to be playing the characters of John, Todd, and Star, but they she said they should be back within a few weeks. I don't know what that has to do. I don't know, but... Oh, I, that's developing. You take it how you want it. Anyway, back to today's episode. And when Anna would trick Lucy Cole into thinking something was on the ground, and all of a sudden just... And I'll say this, Lucy, Lucy, holding a damn gun at the police commissioner is not a good look, baby. I mean, you already escaped from Ferncliff. And you just added another charge of basically holding a gun to a police officer. But I bet in the end, um... Because the court also daytime confidential, Jamie getting some daytime confidential. He's, he he knows a lot about this storyline, but he hasn't said anything. And he said that Michael Easton's Rafe, Michael Easton's character, Michael Easton, any one of these two characters, he takes no prisoner with any of those characters. So, and he said, if this really is Michael Easton's farewell to GH, it's going to go out with a bang or a fang. So, and at the end of today's episode, dude licked the damn blood off of that, um, Whatever, of whatever that was, he licked the blood off of me. They want you to think that he's a vampire. I mean, vampires eat blood. He licked the blood off of him, whatnot. But anyway, moving on. Like I said, when Anna was, when Anna um tricked Lucy Cole, and that's why I live for Anna. Anna, I love Anna in full cop mode. I mean, I love her in full cop mode. But anyway, we also find out today that there is, there apparently is a Lauren Frank, Franco's daughter, Lauren Frank. Um, cause Carla was saying something like when Franco first came to town, and he, she first met Franco, um, Franco looked at Jocelyn and was saying something like how he, um, missed, um, how he missed his daughter, 
and it was good seeing how Luke um Luke manipulated Carly because Luke found Todd because um Luke was actually blackmailing her that she, he wasn't gonna turn her in for basically harboring a fugitive that she he wasn't gonna turn her in and whatnot but but um that was a smart tactic I mean the Spencers know how to um manipulate people um Carly should know that she is one she know they know how to manipulate people. And Luke manipulated the hell out of Carly today. Um, he told her, I, I won't turn you in if you tell me the quarter main, this um, unknown quarter main heir. But I'm hearing that there may be another, there may be another quarter main heir out there. There's a rumor that Rafe may be a quarter main heir or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just have to see how, um, what, what, how, what goes on with that. But anyway, um, I guess I love, I love, and um, when um, Sun, you know, I'm telling you, it took Sonny and Sean three, all oh, but five minutes to figure out that Tracy gave Connie that information, and it's been taking AJ and Michael weeks to figure out. Well, basically a whole week or so to figure out. I mean, seriously. I mean, if if a mobster and his right hand man can figure it out and can basically figure it out in five minutes. What took y'all so long? But anyway, it was good to see AJ. I hadn't seen AJ in a while. Uh, I hadn't seen AJ that much recently, but it was good. It's kind of good to see AJ today. Um, I, it was also good to see Duke today. Um, Duke actually f figured out a way that they're gonna be able to save ELQ, and they're gonna do it by using um, pick a pick a Lila. And I knew e Edward. That's why Edward left Tracy. That and Tracy also came, her and Luke came up with that idea that that well Tracy came up with the idea that she's gonna use pick a Lila to. They're gonna sell Piccolila to save ELQ. Um, but anyway, I'm I'm inter I'm interested in this ELQ storyline. I'm interested in seeing if they're gonna bring someone on at for at for Lauren Frank. But anyway, um, I'm interested in seeing what they're gonna do with that. But anyway, I, I thought today's episode was fairly good. Great Friday episode. Good episode for a Friday. Um, like I said, that um Prospect Park stuff. Um, about according to what they say, that whole but Prospect Park wants to share the characters. According to Jamie Giddens, that's a big lie. But Laura Wright did tweet today that those actors, not the characters, the actors, because she tweeted that um, we're, today we're not saying goodbye to um, Michael, Roger, and Kristen. We're just saying, like, see you in a few. And she said in a few weeks, they'll be back. I don't know how long a few weeks is. It could be a few short weeks or a few long weeks. I don't know. But anyway, um... I don't think they're going to come back as those characters. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think they're going to come back as those characters. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about today's, today's episode. Sorry I don't have much to say about it, but um, it, was good, it was a good episode for a Friday. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think about the bottom at the, the comment section about today's episode. I liked it. Looking forward to Monday's episode. Looking forward to Jeannie Francis returning on Monday. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is Dominic checking out. Peace, God bless, and I'm out.